Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Tarot with a new pick a card and today we're going to see what is coming next in your love life. So who is coming, what is happening, what this person is bringing towards you. Please remember that these three piles do not cover all possible options. These are just three groups of people I'm connecting with today. Uh, messages come through for different groups of people, sometimes for you, sometimes not for you. If it's not your message, please don't get upset. Check out my other picker cards or other amazing readers. There are a lot of them on YouTube and I'm sure one of them is resonating with you to the T today. And if it is your reading, I would really love if you hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more, let me know in the comments what you think. And you may also choose to follow me to the extended readings. They will, the link will be down below in the description box under the video. Um, sorry about that, my boys um, kind of checking who's the boss here. They're doing it every day, mostly it's the game they have. So um, we have three piles, pile number one have new crystals here, new generators. This is um, white quartz, of course. For pile number two, we have amethyst. And for pile number three, we have pink quartz. So please don't choose your favorite color, favorite stone, favorite number, anything. Just really feel uh, the piles, which one is calling for you. If you get a number popping up in your mind, so go with it. Um, don't go with the timestamps or something. Just really try to feel, pause, meditate, feel which pile is for you. Because please remember, there may be no piles for you this time. So, um, and I cannot tell you if this is your, your reading or not, only you can tell it. So I'm giving you a second to choose and then I will see you with pile number one. So pile number one for those who chose the white quartz crystal. Okay, let's see. What is coming in your love life? Hmm. This is really interesting. First of all, you're getting some kind of offer with this page of cups that is going to bring um, inner, inner conflict, inner battle within you. Uh, it's going to provoke it. But at the same time, through this conflict, you will be able to find some kind of new, new beginning. This is with the full king of cups and six of wands here. This new beginning, which is leading you to a deeper love, deeper than you had before. Deeper, look at this, this king of cups. He has a huge cup. And I'm getting, this is the cup to grow for. So this, this will be a very deep love and yeah deeper than you had before this is what i'm getting not, nothing else deeper than you had before and uh this love this connection is going to first maybe confuse you whatever it is maybe this person will not be who you think uh, will come maybe it will be a different person maybe this person will be different in in the closer uh when you get to know them better well there will be something that will bring up this inner battle but after that there's something major something big is going to happen and this love will make you grow this love will make you conquer your inner demons because look this guy is standing on the demon that he conquered right it's your inner demons you fought them you became a winner here yeah this is a very strong energy of a leader and um, you will be more confident, more self-aware, more knowing yourself better. So this is a connection for you to grow and get more mature overall. So, Page of Cups. Okay, the Hangman. Yeah, definitely. I want to leave it here. Uh, let's see more. Let's see more. I will see all the cards, but... I think I know where we are going. I'm kind of getting a picture. Okay. So, it may be, yeah, it may be for you, it may be for a person you're connecting with. Uh, 
but it feels like for you it seems like those who chose pound number one you are not ready for this kind of a deep connection maybe you want love you want uh, to date somebody but this kind of connection will make you okay i don't want to put any pressure on you or too much of it but it seems like you will choose to walk away from any other opportunities this is a connection that will make you uh, realize things understand things you will change your points of view on many things it's like it is something you don't expect to meet at this moment maybe you think you're too young maybe you think that you are it's not the right time for whatever reason it is but also this connection will make you see things like with this eight of swords uh when this connection will enter your life you will be at the point um, where your vision will be narrowed by your limiting beliefs, by your fears, by by um, the, the hamster wheel, you know, the prison of mind that you've created for yourself, some patterns. And uh, it seems like most of you are going to be in this energy of the king of wands, maybe, yeah, maybe dating, but casually, nothing serious, you're not ready for this. Uh, and then something that you you are not ready for is coming here. It's coming, it's turning your life upside down, it's making you see things you never saw before, think things you never think before, feel things you never felt before, and it's this kind of a connection. And that will and the, uh, this connection will make you grow, fight your inner fights, and walk away from this energy of. Uh, maybe party person or something like this that you may not be in the energy of party person but you are not ready for such a deep connection as you think you are right um the way you see things is, is different okay you want love you want romance but you don't even expect this level of connection at the moment but it's coming so let's see more what this person is bringing what kind of relationship it will be what kind of romance it will be it's going to be a long-term committed relationship definitely long term it will be developing slowly but it will be moving forward another fool another fool so uh problem number one you it seems like you do have abandonment issues and if you've seen if you've watched my forecast for december you know that we are kind of in this time that is making us deal with other with our um, insecurities and abandonment issues in whatever form and shape it is in your life and you will have to walk away from it and sometimes sometimes well rather often more often than not uh abandonment issue is the reason why we are avoiding uh, commitments um, and deep relationships true love because we're afraid that it's going to hurt that when this person is going to leave us and so on and so forth and it seems like this situation will be unexpected it will be confusing at first but it is a very very promising and for some of you a very long term connection it's kind of take you it's going to take you to a new level of your life a new level of your existence a new level of uh, thinking and feeling and everything it's um a connection of a lifetime is coming with this ace of pentacles with this temperance card six of swords here the fool yeah and you see the fool is walking away the fool is walking away from this abandonment issue no more moving forward to something very long term something very promising something that is being delivered to you by the universe with this angel holding on to this ace of pentacles like delivering it to you giving it to you yeah great and i want to draw one more card here one more card uh, from romance angels Let's see what else can we get about this connection. This one. This one. Two, two cards came up on it. One, but they, they were together. Passion and past life relationship. So this is somebody from your past life. Religious factors are at play here also. Um, 
it's not i'm not getting like about religious but i'm getting about like spiritual and um maybe religious for some of you um it's like the universe is involved here it is uh, a destined connection but connection on the soul level connection somebody you knew before well guys this is really interesting and I'm going to take this to the extended for those of you who will choose to follow me there we will talk soon and for others I hope to see you soon with my other readings and uh, I'm moving to pound number two now hi those who chose pound number two let's see for those who chose the amethyst crystal mm -hmm. let's see what is coming next in your love life we have eight of pentacles King of Swords, Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and Five of Swords. Swords and Pentacles here. I'm getting, it, it might be a connection through work. With this Eight of Pentacles, King of Swords, and Ace of Swords. Mm, it may be sudden, I'm getting like a sudden realization. And sudden realization you are afraid to make, you're afraid to have. Because you don't think that it is um, a two-way street. You don't think that... It's like there is... Um, there are some feelings that you are developing for a person and you know about those feelings, but you don't want to accept it. You don't want to admit it even f for yourself because you are afraid that this is not um, that this person is not reciprocating your feelings but it seems uh, yeah you're trying to protect yourself from this connection but you keep thinking and thinking and thinking about this person you keep coming back to them with your thoughts and there is no running away from it and you will finally admit it to yourself that whether it's uh, two-way street or not you are uh, you have feelings for this person you definitely have it's like your heart is singing when you see them well this is interesting let's see more what is coming what is going to happen with this okay there will be some movement we have six of swords judgment yeah it's definitely will be like a wake-up call a sudden realization that you don't want to make you don't want to you will keep it to yourself it's some kind of secret secret oh because we have hierophant yeah guys it seems like you will have a uh, either it's a crash on your boss or on somebody i don't know somebody you see as uh, um, a respectable person, mature, strong, uh, influential, important. You have a crush on this person and you're hiding it. You will be realizing it. You will be hiding it. For some of you, at least for some of you, maybe even for everybody, there will be something, like some movement. You will see that they reciprocate and that they, they have feelings for you too, but you will be hiding it. It will be a secret connection. Because of their position with this King of Pentacles, because of their social position or because of their position in the company, because you're working together. It might be somebody at work or somebody you met you meet through work or maybe around your workplace. Something, some connection at work you see them you through work. Whoa. Let's see what kind of relationship it will be. Except for the secret one. Five of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Some of you already in this connection. It's like secret. Oh wow! Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot together. Two of Swords. Let's clarify. Two of Swords. Why the Two of Swords is here? yeah i am getting it secret because of your work you you are doing something together you're working something together or your your companies are connected somehow some um, maybe it, it's your business partner something there's some kind of work connection here and uh, 
at first you will be, you know, like upset, like why am I in this situation? Like again, for some of you it's again, I don't know. It's like, why am I choosing people like this? Why am I choosing like men or women like this? Uh, at first you will be upset that you are in this situation and that you have to hide it or, or whatever it is. But then there will be changes, changes. Maybe you will move. Maybe, maybe uh, your person will move because it seems like somebody is going to choose love, love over work. And this will change everything. This will change everything because none of you can kind of drop this connection because both of you want uh, it to move further. Both of you want to build something with each other, to build something important. It's important for both of you. This is what I want to say. So one of you is going to choose hard over work. And then you're going to move to, to, to this committed relationship, to this commitment. Yeah, both of you are valuing this connection a lot. Okay, I want to draw one more card from my Oracle. Not one, okay, three. Three cards from Roman's Angels for you. You deserve love, so please believe in it. Wedding. Hmm, wedding likes to come up today. Wedding. Uh, wedding is not necessarily an official marriage. Uh, wedding may be involved here. That's why with the hierophant, by the way, maybe this uh, this person is married. Um, for some of you, maybe this person is married to their job. Uh, but let's see. It is safe for you to love. Yeah, that's why I wanted to stress that this connection is important. It's valuable for both of you. So don't think like you are the only one who's reciprocating. So guys, uh, there is some kind of deep connection in this unfortunate situation. I, I, why I'm going to say it's like some of you or maybe you see this situation as an unfortunate for some reason. But when it is not unfortunate, so it's going to change, it's going to turn to your benefit and you, are, you will be on your way to this committed relationship with this person. Mm. I wouldn't see this wedding as the literal wedding, but this is either a married person who is changing you and coming forward to you, or a person married to their job, or it is about the deep connection that the two of you have with each other. For some of you, it will end up in marriage. For others, no. Uh, there are different, different situations here. And yeah, it's totally not one-sided it is being reciprocated for for those who chose spell number two well guys hope you enjoyed this reading hope i gave you something to look forward to and uh, if you choose to follow me to the extended the, the link will be down below in the description box under the video uh if not i hope to see you soon with my other videos and i'm moving to pile number three now hello those who chose pile number three with the pink words crystal all right Let's see what's coming to you in love. What's coming next? Oh, oh, I want to do like this. Wow, justice and judgment and death. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. You are either on the verge of a major transformation or you're going through a major transformation. So those of you who had some... Um, very strong abandonment issues, fears um, of commitment, and in whatever way, shape, or form it is in your life, it's the right time. If you've watched my uh, December forecast, it is the right time for us all to deal with other with our commitment issues um, and abandonment issues, whatever scarcity mindset elements you have. We all have them to some extent. You are going through a major transformation. It's like you are disassembling yourself to the parts, to the smallest, I don't know, atoms, and then throwing away, you know, like transforming, burning what's ne what's not necessarily, what's not working for you, and then assembling yourself in a different way, in, in, in a much more balanced way. You are waking up, you are realizing things, you're understanding things. Yeah, I know it's not 
about somebody coming to you <laughs> exactly um, but we will see more now but sometimes people don't realize that what is happening with you is much more important it's much more important because when you are changing when your mind your consciousness is changing everything is changing around the universe is sending you different kind of people different kind of connections different things so the way you are attracts things it's like the way your mind is the way your world is the way your life is you're attracting different things so this is super important this is super exciting and this is super um positive here with this justice and the judgment it's like you're weighing you're being um you're not justifying those things anymore you are being honest with yourself about those issues you are learning you are changing you are transforming and i bet that it's bringing something super great in your life and we will see what it is now let's see more pile number three let's see more yeah you are ending you are ending this shit you are another you are transforming it's like you are rearranging your values it's like it's not your values you i'm getting some um, fierce energy here like feisty energy here you're like like stop it i don't want it anymore i don't want to feel miserable anymore i'm not giving the power over my life or my happiness to anybody anymore like i am responsible it, it is being conscious it's being um how to say responsible being more mature responsible for yourself you're realizing that responsibility is not an easy thing but it is also giving you power whoever is responsible for your life is powerful if you're responsible it means you can change everything you can transform everything and this is what's happening here yeah i'm yelling and i know that <laughs> i'm kind of getting exciting when i see these things because i love to see those things and i just want to tell you that uh sometimes people are saying like people can't change or people can change you know what about 50% of people are not able to accept, acknowledge what is wrong with them, what, what issues they have, what they need to work on. About other 50% is capable of admitting the problem, fighting the problem, stating the problem. But only 10 to 20, maximum 20% of people is able actually to change something, to change themselves, to change the way they think, feel, behave. And it, it means to grow. It means to grow like a person as a soul on your journey. It's, it means being on your journey instead of denying it. Some people are saying like, I don't want to change who I am. But transformation means change. It's like when you are a newborn, you are the same person but you are transforming you're growing you're learning you're learning so much that you are inevitably changing who you are and our whole life is about transformation it's about change you can't be a person it's a process it is not a constant it's a process it's a structure and it's a process so you have to i don't know trust the universe you have to go with it you have to change something and the only thing you can change is this, is this world is you. And by, by changing yourself, you're changing everything, truly everything. So that's why I'm super freaking excited to see these things, that people are changing, that you are changing. And I'm getting super emotional. You're transforming, guys. You can't believe you, you. Some of you don't even understand how important it is. And you're learning to, to trust yourself more, to trust the... I'm really sorry for the sounds in the back. But, you know, five kids playing... <sighs> no no avoiding it with this high priestess you're learning to listen to yourself to your intuition to your guides whatever you call it to the universe you're getting more in tune with yourself and it is freaking beautiful and it's much more beautiful and important than any kind of romance in the universe any yeah you are and for pile number three i think you know it because with this nine of pentacles you are learning to be the boss of yourself of your life of everything you are learning how to be independent you are learning how to fight for yourself fight for whatever is important for you for your values for your i don't know maybe before you 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 were not fighting or not not even realizing things but now you're realizing how freaking strong you are how beautiful you are how much you can give to yourself and to the world and you are starting to do that you are starting to fight for what's important for what you want for 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 the way you want your life to be and it's not about romance, but it's about the most 
important relationship. Yeah, I know that somebody will hate me for this, but guys, whatever comes, like the pile number three, if you found this message, at least some of you need to hear it. Sometimes it's not what I ask, but it's always what we need to hear right now. So if you if, if it's not your message, again, there are a lot of pick a cards on my channel and on other channels. There are a lot of wonderful readers on YouTube, and I'm sure one of them is resonating and is giving you the answer that you need today. But for some of you, it's super important. So please, please feel it. Absorb it. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. But for some of you, it's a major, major transformation that is occurring already. And you are you are beautiful. Just beautiful, guys. I'm loving your energy. I'm loving this energy. It, will, it, it, it must not be easy for you at the moment. But with this, it's about love. It's about true love. And true love always starts with loving yourself. Unless you learn to love yourself, you can't truly love another person. So, guys, let's see. Let's see more for those who chose pile number three. What else they need to hear today? <laughs> the world and the world. The world to clarify the world. It's, it's a truly new life starting for yourself. It's about self-love. Yeah, pile number three, it's about self-love. I know it's not about romance, but it's about self-love and it's something major, super coming your way, um, the super transformation, you know. So, um, it seems like you will not be open for a romantic relationship with a person at for a while. It may be, I don't know, a month for some of you, several months for others, because while you are going through this transformation and major arcanas, we have a lot of them, major arcanas, major things, they take time. And while you are transforming, while you are changing, while you're learning how to love yourself, how to care for yourself, you will be kind of, mm, maybe it's not the right time with this four of cups, maybe it's not the right time while well, I'm still in between, while well, still in, tr in, in, uh, in this process, it's not the right time uh, to be with somebody else because you need to kind of finish this process, at least the, the main part of it. Um, but you will not be inactive at all. You will be changing. You will be doing something that's really important for you and what you, you, you've been not doing before, you haven't been doing before. So it seems like you will be transforming, but your um, whatever is your circle will be transforming and some people will not be happy with that because they they're used to different you you know and you will have to not fight them per se but protect your new personality protect your new vision protect your new self-love because you it's kind of a newborn thing and you need to take care of it right now so and it's like until it becomes until it settles down so there will be a lot of action there there will be a lot of conversation there will be a lot of communication and this process is going to take some time so it's about self-love guys self-love and it's beautiful so and I know that everybody wants to have romantic relationship, but one thing, please never forget one thing. To be in a healthy and happy relationship, you have to become healthy and happy yourself first. And this is what's happening here now. So it's, it's a major step towards a happy relationship. But at the moment, this is a relationship with yourself you need to work on. Okay? So, and I'm getting to to uh, draw several cards from romantic romance angels at the moment we have playfulness we have forgiving and learning and yeah calling in your soulmate so you are doing this major transformation to be able to draw to manifest your soulmate into your life but for this for now uh you need to focus on self-love uh with playfulness um, I think it's important for you to not forget to enjoy life with this aid of uh, ones as well to to get out uh, to spend some time outside with your friends with new people maybe meet new people communicate it's it's really important for you at the moment 
And uh, with forgiving and learning, yeah, during these transformations, first of all, you have to forgive a lot to yourself. Forgive and to learn a lot about yourself as well and about other people. So while transforming yourself, it will be inevitably, the transformation will kind of splash out to the outside world, to other connections, to people, to friends, to, to everything. So there will be, yeah, a lot of forgiving and learning. And it you are on the major path of transformation and when this big step is over you will be also manifesting your soulmate but it's not right now not this very moment this very moment is about you okay well guys this is super intense panel number three i'm going to take this one to the extended to see more about um the soulmate that's coming your way and uh, if you choose to follow me there the link is down below in the description box if not i hope to see you soon with my other videos have a great day and bye